Hi, it's Dr. Schmidt. I'm going to go over the most common thing that I talk about with my patients, especially when I see their labs. And it has to do with their lipids and high cholesterol. I'm going to give you two scenarios how this number of total cholesterol at 240 could be okay or not okay. And then also LDL. This number could be okay or not okay, depending on the other labs. So in this scenario, we have total cholesterol too high at 240, LDL too high at 139, but the HDL is at 85. HDL is high density lipoprotein, that's a healthy fat, and being 85, that's a really good number. And then, but the most important thing is the VLDL, that's right here, and the VLDL needs to be less than 19. And most of the time, when I look at somebody else's lab that they ran for a patient, it's not even on the lab. Why is that? Because there's no drug for it. There's statin drugs for this and this, and if this is too high, the LDL, they just give statin drugs because it's the law. They have to. If they don't, and then you have a heart attack, they're the ones in trouble. But let's look at the rest of the numbers and figure this out. So if you have no VLDL reporting on your lab, then you just do this math to figure it out. Total cholesterol minus LDL minus HDL, and as long as that's less than 19, you're okay. So in this example, 240 minus 139 minus 85 equals 16. This is less than 19. It's okay. But the other numbers have to also make sense. For example, triglycerides. That's uh, 75 in this example. That's a nice low number. I know this person is eating a low-carb diet. And then the A1C is 5.2, long-term measurement of blood glucose. Actually, it measures the... Um, destruction of sugar to the arterial wall. And so 5.2 tells me that they're eating a low carb diet. Now let me show you the next scenario. Now remember, this is 240 and this is 139. This other scenario, I put it in red ink, same numbers, but they're eating a high carb diet and they're eating too much sugar and their HDL is only 45. So when you do the math, 240 minus 139 minus 45, their VLDL is 56. That's screaming high, it's too high, and uh, it should be less than 19. But the other numbers also need to correlate. And here we have triglycerides at 175. This tells me they're eating too much bread and sugar. And then the A1C shows that they're diabetic. Now I've had discussions about what is a normal A1C. Well, 5.2 is a really good number. 5.4 is pretty good too. Once you get above 5.5, especially 5.9, I'm thinking diabetes. And a lot of hospitals won't say it's diabetes until it's above 6.0. But the high glucose or the, the long-term measurement of glucose being high is a late manifestation of high insulin. So over 90% of 18-year-olds in America have high insulin. That's diabetes. But their glucose or their A1C doesn't go up until they're in their 50s or 60s or even later. But high insulin is the main determination of uh, diabetes. So in this scenario, these two numbers are not good. And the low carb diet fixes all of it. And there's no drug that will save your life when you have a bad diet. So the bottom line is diabetes causes heart disease. The heart disease is measured by the bad fats. The diabetes is measured by the effects of glucose, such as high triglycerides, high A1C, but it's the main cause of heart disease is diabetes. There are other causes of heart disease that need to be considered, such as hidden infections, maybe in the mouth, and the bacteria there are secreting enzymes and mucus that go to the heart and cause placking.